All right, we've got Dr. Rob and Digital Diva Ali Rittenhouse back in studio. But this is, we're talking about something that I don't think anybody has ever really thought of, the germs on our phones and other technologies we use every day. It's one that most people never even give mm. a second thought to. And quite frankly, when you start to think about it, yuck. It's yes, just really it is kind yuck. of disgusting. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you're going to tell us just real quick what is on the phones. Ali, we'll get to you a little bit later. But Dr. Rob, dare I ask, what are on the phones? So I hate to say it, but your cell phone has more bacteria than a toilet seat. Mm. Oh, that's Absolutely. what I was afraid. I was waiting for Just those gross. correlations. That's gross. Okay. <laughs> so, and also, 100%, I think you were telling me, 100% of the phones? A study revealed that 100% of the phones in the study contained bacteria. And not, every single phone in the study. Every single phone. And not only a little bit of bacteria, a oh, lot of bacteria, oh, and really bad bacteria that could cause serious infections. Okay, so what are we looking One at? One of the funkiest ones, Bacillus cirrus, which is called fried rice syndrome, and the reason being is because this bacteria grows in fried rice. So if you take fried rice and let it sit out, it'll grow this bacteria, and for some reason it's one of the more popular ones that shows up on a phone over mm. all the other ones. So it's a good reason to clean your phone. I'm with Ali on that one. We'll check that <laughs> face out. It's kind of like, ew, really? <laughs> I know. And so there's other ones like Klebsiella, uh, Strep pneumonia, E. coli, you know, oh, the one you would associate with your toilet yes, seat and yes. washing machine. So they swabbed these phones and came back with all these bacteria. And if you don't clean your phone on a regular basis, you could be subjected to all these things, and it can cause illness, which definitely is a good thing. So I called my good friend, Allie Rittenhouse, and said, hey. Allie, what are we going to do about like all this bacteria on the phones, and how do we clean phones, iPads, computers, clean it TV without, remotes? Yeah, without destroying it. Without it. Yes. it. Yes. <laughs> well, first, don't dip it in any, any liquids. That would not cure your phone <laughs> of uh, the illnesses harboring it. But first thing that you want to do is you want to turn them off before you go to clean them, turn oh, them off, good tip. Okay. remove any battery that you can, if you can, like your, your remote, you want to remove the batteries or anything like that in it. And then after you've done that, a microfiber cloth, and you want to make sure we were talking about this, to wash these as well, but a microfiber cloth will help with your touch screens, will help with your devices and everything to clean that. And then you can use some rubbing alcohol or any alcohol-based product that will um, allow for you to kill all of that bacteria on there. And so it's what, not harmful to the phone, Well, right? as long as you're not, like, degree. drenching it in yeah. there, yes. Okay. So what, that's why you want to, like, put it a little bit on your cloth. Yeah, let's see how that works. So that you're not but soaking But the phone it. is on. Can we do it on oh, that well, one? Well, I'm going to shut it off. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So you want to just kind of take it and just kind of wipe it down. Now, wash your hands before you go to do this so any bacteria that's <laughs> on your hand, you don't want to get back on the one. Yes. Yeah. So then you just want to lightly, you know, clean it, all of the cracks and crevices where your mouth goes, yeah, Especially the speaker, right yeah, here. all of that. And this is where they did the sampling, and it's by right the here by it's the mouthpiece. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yep. Like and so. your hands are touching that, too. I mean, when you're holding it, when you're looking through it, so you just really want, don't go spraying anything on your devices. Put it on a cloth, and then do it, um, you know, and just rub it on there and everything. And you can use, like, I use Hard Surface um, by Lysol. I couldn't find it because my husband um, rearranged some of the cabinets, so we have have good old this, rubbing this alcohol. Too. If yes. you don't have that, this yes. works too. Yes. Ninety nine percent of the germs will killed by that. And then the cloths that you use, you want to make sure you wash yeah, yes. those. Yeah, like Ali was saying, wash those. Because yes. that's another another step we don't think about. Really quick, we gotta wrap it up, Dr. Bob, but is this the kind of thing you can prevent? Hand washing, the normal Absolutely. things to think about? Every, you know, year round you need to do this, winter, rainy months especially, when everybody gets in close proximity. You want to make sure you have good hand washing. If you're going to cough or sneeze, cough and sneeze into your elbow. The wash your hands. Things, yeah. Wash your phone off two, three times a week. Get the germs off it and help prevent right. spreading disease. Dr. Rob, Allie, thank Thanks. you as always for the thank tips. You. We're going to go clean our phones now. I'm going to go hide mine. Thanks, And then guys. throw this in the washer. And then <laughs> throw the washer.